How's everything going, my man? I'm good. How about you? Good, thank you. Good, thank you. I, I, it's a pleasure to have you join us in studio. You're in Orlando. How was the trip over? It was really good. It was comfortable. So it was pretty pretty easy going. You you enjoy the flight? Yeah. Okay. Very good. I'm glad to hear. How was the camp coming into the fight? It was, it was great, I have to say. Although all this happening around the world, the COVID and all stuff, we managed to do a great camp. That's awesome. We we prepare well for this for this fight. I never thought in a million years I'd be making my pro debut this year, but I'm right here, starting starting to live in my dream, and that's all we gotta do. So Jonathan, as you make your pro debut, talk to us a little bit about as you head into this fight on Boxeo Telemundo. You're 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 making your pro debut during the pandemic on television. That's that's huge, man. You should be proud of yourself. I want you to know that as you approach this whole scenario and you've gotten to the top of the mountain here about to turn pro talk to us a little bit about the process to get here to the fans let them know hey i'm jonathan correa i'm debuting at 112 who am i share with us well um my name is jonathan i'm 25 uh, i've been boxing since a kid you know it hasn't been easy it's been a long road um I have sacrificed so much, you know, just to me for being here right now is an accomplishment, you know. I feel proud of myself. I hope my mom and my dad feel proud. I'm pretty sure they do. That's awesome, man. So you have a lot of inspiration from, you have other siblings as well? Or? Yeah, my, my brother, he's, he has to be my biggest inspiration, you know. He's always believing in me. He, he's always try to push me to my limits. He's always there and there. Uh, give your best, you know, you can do this. And, you know, that's, that's my brother, you know. Let's give him a shout out, what's your brother's name? Um, he's Julio Correa, he's a jockey. Oh, okay, yeah. he's a jockey, really? Yeah. And you guys are twins, right? Hmm? You guys are, are twins, Son Camelo? No, no. They look alike so uh, much. Okay. A lot of people confuse this, you know. Yeah. Uh, but so he's a jockey, how long has he been a jockey? Uh, a couple of years, yeah. A couple really? of years. Uh huh. Wow. Um, he used to box too, and he used to box back in the day. Really? Yeah, he tried to. Okay. <laughs> he said it wasn't for him. But he said, I'm going to go ride a horse instead. Yeah. Okay. That's not a bad trade off. <laughs> and you said Julio. We'll give Julio a shout out. Okay. Very neat. So, Jonathan, you have your family as your inspiration. How was your amateur background in Puerto Rico? Talk to us a little bit about your amateur experience as a boxer before getting to the top of the mountain and turning pro. Well, it was good. Um, I get to fight some fights, you know, although my style is not like an amateur. It's more a pro style. You know, um, I can say I, I have a, I make a good fights, you know, although I, I don't have a background like some other people, like Omar Rosario, you know. I, I, I'm, I did a good job, you know. So you're able to build up, put the work in, and yeah. in Puerto Rico, as we know, the amateur circuit is, is brutal. It, it, for all of us, boxing fans and, and boxing aficionados, they understand Puerto Rico, if you're fighting as an amateur, it's no joke. It's one of the toughest places to come up in the sport. Um, many people have to get a understanding of that and you went through that so I commend you for getting what I call through the gauntlet that's not easy that's not easy so okay welcome back we're live in studio Jonathan Correa thank you so much for joining us today Gabriel Lamastis, as we continue the Sunday sit-down series special live on our YouTube channel, Team La Perla Boxing and MMA, we'll get back with Coach Gabriel. As you and Jonathan were talking about, you've actually had a point in his amateur career where you were having other fighters face him. Now you're in the same corner. Talk to us more about your relationship with Jonathan. I met Jonathan uh, more than 10 years ago in a boxing gym in Caguas that I used to work at. And um, I ended up 
he he ended up switching from gyms a couple of times back and forth. I ended up then doing my own thing, and we ended up as rivals. I ended up having people face him in tournaments, and and that's how we turned. And now the world turned, and we're back in the same corner. Life came full circle in the boxing ring, literally, right? That's what it sounds like. So, Jonathan, what would you say are some of your strengths as a boxer? Excuse me? What are, what are some of your strengths? What are some things that you would sell in the boxing ring? Your style. Talk to, talk to, talk to me about that. <clears throat> my strength, it has to be my intelligence, you know. I, I always try to fight, fight smart. Don't waste any, any punch, you know. So ring IQ, that's a yeah. big, that's an important thing yeah. in your in your uh, boxing style, so to say. That's yeah. awesome. Who are some of the fighters that you watched growing up and even now? Two part question. Miguel Cotto. Okay. That's my that's favorite a, that's... fighter, you know. Okay. Uh, I used to I used to watch a lot, you know, Canelo Alvarez, Floyd Mayweather, Shane Mosley. Try to take something from everyone, from, from everyone, and bring it up together. And put it in practice, you know? Definitely. Yeah, so. That's awesome. So who would you say is your favorite fighter now? Now. Mm. Too many to choose from? Yeah, like since Miguel Cotto retired, I yeah. I literally, literally stopped having a favorite one. But okay. A lot to choose from. I watch a lot of Canelo Alvarez and Ryan Garcia. Very cool. And coach, who would you say Jonathan style reminds you of? Well, funny question, but he got a very particular style.